Okay, so I guess everyone is here. Uh, we can start. So now, as we were discussing, that you do not want to uh, opt for mathematics, you want to opt for biology. But at the same time, you do not want to pursue medicine. Then what are the options you have? Okay. Uh, some of the most common options, uh, if anyone can say, you could type in chat, clinical research, pharmacy, and so on. Okay, but other than that, what are the options? It could be paramedic, uh, medical uh, fields, it could be alternative medicine therapy, and many more. So let's discuss a few. Uh, with the first one, yes, psychology. Yes, psychology, uh, true, you, uh, there are two ways when you, you know, either you could do uh, go uh, do psychology with humanities and uh, actually when you really want to go for clinical psychology, there are two uh, branches of psychology. Since you mentioned this, I'll just uh, tell you in brief that counseling psychology and clinical psychology, clinical psychology, uh, would be the uh, clinical psychologist where, you know, they treat patients with uh, severe uh, mental illnesses. Of course, they, do, they are not doctors, so they do not prescribe medicines, but yes, they do counsel them. So clinical psychology, if you do BSc in clinical psychology after uh, opting for biology, it is an added advantage. Though it is not mandatory, it is always learning biology is an added advantage because you understand the human anatomy, right? So in that case, if you want to be a clinical uh, psychologist, of course, with humanities, you opt for, uh, you can go further or with PCB. Still, you can do BSc in psychology and then specialize in clinical psychology and further. So now uh, let's uh, start. Mm. Uh, first, uh, my first option, which I would want to discuss is very common. So I'll, you know, uh, go in brief. Clinical uh, is okay. So uh, can we just keep question answers at the end? Uh, so that, you know, when I'm discussing, I just don't get distracted. But since you have already asked me this, I'll just uh, reply to you. Psychology uh, is a good career in India. The reason, reason now there are people who are under stress. Uh, there are kids, there are teenagers who require counseling, who require counselor, psychologist. And the number of such people who need external help, actually basically what are psychologists? They help you treat your anxieties, fears, and all that, your behavior. Okay, they help you with all that. They are good listeners. So the clientele, though, who need psychologists, okay, who need help, external help, has been increasing. Even during COVID times, that is the most suitable example. If you, you know, read papers and all, there were so many teenagers who uh, got mental disorders because of staying at home, because of the gadgets and all, who required external help. Why? Distraction from studies and all that. So that is why psychology is a great career today and it will always be a good career even in the future. So now let's uh, start. Mm, the first, uh, at the end, I will uh, share the PPTs with you. Right now, I'm not sharing the screen because in my PPTs, lots and lots of information is uh, given where I have discussed the career opportunities, uh, the path and all. So there's a lot of information, which, you know, as it is, we're not going to discuss that much in detail. But briefly, I'll just brief you about the options available. So first option, clinical research. So now, what is clinical research? Like, do you have genuine interest with scientific intentions or you want to test the medicine before it is out in the market? So basically, clinical research is about uh, medical research in labs. They the, uh, the clinical research scientists develop new methods, new treatments to cure illnesses and all that. Okay, that's 
I would say, etc. Because there's a lot of wide scope uh, to pursue this. So after doing 12 PCB, how do you move further? You could do BSc in clinical research and proceed with your master's and PhD. Or since uh, if you do not do BSc in clinical research, you could also do BSc in life sciences and then proceed further with post-graduation uh, post diploma in uh, clinical research. Now, what when you say, okay, clinical research, what are the opportunities? Okay, opportunities in research. Now, when you ask what kind of research, it could be a treatment research, which is also known as clinical trials. It could be prevention research, where you are trying to prevent something, some disorders from happening or, or developing. So it could be a study of medicines, vitamins, vaccines, etc. Diagnostic, when you say diagnostic, you uh, you know, try to find out ways to identify a, a particular situation or a condition, screening or, or supportive care. So these are the opportunities which, uh, which would be available uh, for someone who's pursuing clinical research. Now, uh, it could be, you know, he could work as a coordinator, clinical uh, research coordinator or a manager with a Firm, so who would be hiring the companies, pharmaceutical companies and all, they would be mainly hiring such people. Okay, moving further, the next one is also very popular, which you all know, pharmacy, right? When you say pharmacy, what is it? Are you interested in health? You want to learn about medicine? Okay, so pharmacy is all about that. It's a branch of science where one can learn to prepare, uh, do research and distribute the medicinal drugs. Now, as a pharmacist, he would be having a strong knowledge about the you know, composition of the drugs, etc. And where do pharmacists work? They work in hospitals, they work in uh, pharmaceutical companies, uh, their R&D units of those companies, or they have their own drugstore, who are known as a pharmacist, okay? They have their own drugstore. So obviously, when you talk about pursuing the studies, after PCB, bachelor's in pharmacy, which is uh, popularly known as B Pharm, then M Pharm, and you have PhD. So how, what are the opportunities? You could be into pharma research, you could be a chemist, you own your own store, you could be a pharmacist, or you could be a medical representative. Okay, now next. This was about research, uh, medicines and all. Now we, we move to our next branch, which is about life sciences and environment. When you talk of life sciences, environment, it's a life sciences, it's a huge, it's a huge, huge, vast uh, base of, uh, you know, the top, the subjects, it's a huge study base. So when you say life science, what is it? Life sciences is a huge field, which covers all areas that includes the study of uh, living beings. It could be plants, it could be human beings, animals, etc. So when you talk of life sciences, obviously medicine is a part of that, but we are not considering medicine as of now. So medicine and biology. So who, who, who would, uh, you know, what are, what are the uh, type of options you have in this? what you would be doing. So when you say life sciences, they are mainly involved in research development, specialization. Then you have the basics. As since it is a huge field, as I mentioned, then you do specializations. In what? That would include, it could be neuroscience, it could be evolutionary genetics, uh, molecular biology, to just name a few. Then, I said life science and environment, environmental science. Now, what is it? Basically, it's the study of the environment. When you say study of the environment, what? It would be conservation of en uh, en energy, climatic changes, uh, hydraulic. So, you know, related to water, air, noise pollution, everything. So, 
what are the specialized fields in that ecology environmental planning pollution uh, etc so now who who would be the major recruiters for students who are pursuing such courses hospitals pharmaceutical companies government organizations and research centers these are the main main employers okay for people who are uh, pursuing the courses now in that we are discussing one by one the main since we are starting with biology i'll say biology what is biology basically it's the branch of natural sciences which study the living organism uh, so who biologist what do they do they investigate function structure evolution of living beings and the you know uh, going further they form uh, the you know biology studying biology it forms the base of further specialization like genetics biotechnology and so on so now career opportunities for a biologist healthcare as i said because they can you know work with public health campaigns they can work in that where defeat, uh, trying to defeat various illnesses diseases and all that business and industries as i said uh, companies who are, who are doing pharmaceutical companies who are doing research so then the department where you know they are, who are looking after environmental uh, management conservation or work as an independent consultant okay uh, then research even if you see you know nowadays for, uh, in uh, there are so many journals uh, write ups uh, you know where people require such uh, uh, you know qualified professionals from the relevant background Uh, so they could work as journalists uh, you know writers having scientific background if they you know they are good with writing skills because there are so many science blogs journals media networks print me, uh, media and all that so that is also another option and obviously in all these fields whichever uh, education and training so you know uh, students who would want to teach others who are pursuing the relevant courses so they could work as in schools colleges as professors assistant professors whatever as well as in museums zoos etc where you know they share the knowledge with others so these are the popular uh, options how to pursue the careers the pathway obviously bsc in biological sciences or life sciences or in environmental science and then msc you could specialize you could uh, or if you still want to con uh, continue with the same then you have the option of doing msc in bioscience life science or uh, so on post graduate diploma now we covered biology that's a huge huge again a, a huge field. now we are focusing individual areas so when i say botany it what is it it's plant biology study of plants and the environment their life processes etc so here uh, at the end a uh, plant biologist who is called a botanist and uh, who are they 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 what do they do they do research they prepare report uh, okay on what they do research on plants how to you know uh, maybe converting some chemical co uh, compounds uh, chemicals to complex chemicals or whatever it is a conversion of chemical compounds to complex chemicals genetic properties how to control their development so it's all the study of plants and the environment now again we discuss what would be the career opportunities for someone who's uh, studying plant biology which is botany business in industry hired by again they are hired by pharmaceutical companies nurseries or different industries uh, such as food chemical fermentation it could be anything 
landscapes, uh, landscape industries. So, you know, where there are huge gardens, biodiversity parks, botanical gardens. So they would be placed there where that is the public sector. And again, natural resource center where you, uh, they are employed in uh, natural resource, uh, resource centers, both public and private where you know, they could be a forest resource manager, which is one of the most popular ones. Uh, environmental consultancy, they could work as consultants, they could uh, do research or again, education is one option. Now, pursuing uh, the career, BSc in botany or biological science, life science, environmental science, and then you pursue masters in the relevant Field. Okay, uh, moving further, environmental science, environmental science, okay, now environmental science, it's all about study of the environment, the environmental scientists, they work, uh, they have a basic, uh, I mean, I wouldn't say the basic, a deep understanding about the uh, earth processes, evaluating the energy systems, pollution control, natural resource it management because everything is covered under this because it is, you are talking about the whole environment. So uh, how, uh, what are the options for them? You know, nat uh, conservation, pollution control, uh, it could be anything. So now who would employ them? The opportunity exists with the government organizations, private ecological firms, consulting firms, wildlife rehabilitation centers, pollution control board, etc. So these are the major uh, employers of the pe uh, people who are studying this environmental science. So they could work as an environmental analyst, an ecologist, or so on, a uh, pollution control officer. Now, BSc, MSc, uh, PG diploma in environmental science, all the options are available. Moving further, we still doing the life sciences. So what are the options in that? So agricultural scientist or agronomy. So we, you all know what is agriculture. In And living in India, India is an agricultural country. You earlier, they were farmers who were not educated, who didn't know more about the, uh, you know, the scientific way of farming and also now agricultural science or agronomy, it is the scientific study of practice or cultivation of crops, growing fruits, etc. poultry farming, the rearing of animals. So it's a scientific approach, which is adopted. Okay, so here, when we discuss uh, career opportunities, it could be uh, he could work as a crop research scientist, pesticide worker, plant pathologist. It could be anything. So these are the options and studies: B.Sc. in agricultural science, B.Sc. in horticulture, and further masters and Ph.D. is also uh, available. Such courses are also available. Now, from plants, we move towards animals. Now, animals. What is the study of animal kingdom called? Zoology. Okay, a very uh, popular. If uh, someone is interested in the study of animals, okay, uh, living and extinct, both. So, for them, zoology is a great option. See, here I don't say it is, you know, so much, uh, any career is very much in demand, it is not prospects. Plus, minus, it could be high growth uh, career, it could be a slow growth career, but these are the options available right now. I'm not uh, discussing the only the careers with great prospects, I'm discussing all the options which are available. So, zoology, basically, it's the uh, study of animals living and extinct. So, these are the animal scientists. Okay. Uh, we had plant uh, botanists who were basically focusing on plants. So these are the ones who are doing the study of the animals. Opportunities, they could be animal breeders, uh, wildlife educators, or uh, rehabilitators, etc. And with all these careers, as I mentioned, research and education. Education, when you are going to teach, 
uh, as a faculty that is always there and in research. How to pursue a career? So you could do BSc uh, or uh, BSc honors in zoology, in life science or biological science, and then masters in zoology. So all uh, all these courses are available in. Okay, now zoology it's regarding animals. Now we move to marine life. So. In that also, there are many different courses, marine biology, fishery science, then you have oceanography. So all these are uh, uh, options are there. So we'll just discuss one by one in brief, marine biology. When I say marine biology, it's the study of all marine organisms, right from the microbes and plankton to all plants and animals. So it's study of the marine life. So marine uh, biology, uh, bi biology, what does it include? The study of marine life. So marine biologists are the ones who investigate the behavior interactions of marine life with their surroundings. Now, why are these uh, courses, these uh, professions getting popularity? One, with the increase in the environmental degradation, you know, they are in demand. These uh, options, these color options are getting uh, in demand. They're getting popular because we, you know, somewhere or the other, we all try to protect the environment, conserve the resources and all that. So these are, they are the ones who come up with solutions and how to treat them. So these, uh, all these options are getting popularity gradually. So opportunities, he could be a fishery biologist or a Aquaculturist, it's a new word, you know, even uh, I was uh, earlier, I was not aware of it. So aquaculture is basically farming of fishing and seeds. So this is one area for the marine biologist, which is actually getting a lot of popularity. It is gaining a lot of importance worldwide as custom consumer demands for fish are increasingly becoming more and more. So environmental consultant, research training, natural resource manager, all these are there. How to pursue? BSc in aquaculture, BSc in biological science, BSc in life science, then masters in marine biology or masters in oceanography. So next is fishery science. Again, with the study, understanding management of fisheries okay it is rapidly expanding in india the reason why because growing demands in the fishing industry so professionals who are in this field they try to pre, uh, you know uh, develop solutions to prevent diseases preserve the fish populations and so on so now who would be the employers Okay, so career opportunities are available with the government, private organizations, fisheries, consulting business, environmental laws, law firms, and all that. So this is where uh, you have the opportunities and you could work as a fishery biologist, environmental cons uh, consultant, inspector of fishery if you're placed with the department. Uh, of course, the educational institutes is always there, aquaculturist and you have, uh, you know, specialized courses for this, like BSc in fishery science, BSc in aquaculture. Life science is a general that is also doable. And then you could do masters in fishery science or postgraduate diploma in fishery science. Okay. Now, uh, before I move further, uh, any questions regarding this? Fish, uh, whatever I have discussed, anyone who would ask, since I have discussed few uh, quite uh, many options, so okay. So what is, yeah, hi, sorry. Yeah. What is the path for genetic engineering in the sense? I, yeah, engineering, see, uh, genetics. You could do uh, BSc uh, with genetics, but if you really want to pursue engineering, then uh, you know there are uh, many institutes who prefer maths. 
they okay. they want maths so right now i i will cover genetics but uh, i would be mentioning bsc with genetics because there are certain institutes mm-hmm. who demand uh, pcm that's why so i'm not okay. including there are many uh, many fields where engineering is possible with biology but th- that's limited okay okay yeah. okay so i'm coming to genetics i have still not covered that so right now i'm discussing the life sciences and environment and then uh, we'll move further okay so next wildlife conservation so since the wild animals are getting extinct they are being hunted they you know so conservation of wildlife is gaining popularity here opportunities for a person who's pursuing the course with government ngos wildlife photography writing journals so on he could be work as a wildlife biologist or wildlife educator placed with government uh, agencies and so on so now have to move further he could pursue bsc in science biological science veterinary science forestry and then masters in wildlife conservation and if needed phd is also available okay now since we are discussing animals the most most common is a vet a vet doctor if you have the passion uh, to treat animals taking care of animals if you love animals vet is the uh, ideal profession but at the same time uh, is not that easy because it's not only about treating cats and dogs that's pets okay it's about treating all kinds of animals it could be bird it could be cows and so on so here in india you know we have places where they breed cows and you know those panja poles and we take care of cows buffaloes and all that so a vet also has to move in villages he can open up his own clinic he or she or the other way you no know, uh, where all these places the trusts we have in india who take care of such animals they also appoint vet so even in that case he will have to he or she will have to visit the places and these places where the animals are kept they usually outskirts in the cities and not in proper city so it's not that easy the life of a vet but service in private clinics and hospitals is always an option so treating animals i am not discussing further because we all know who is a vet and it is a, you know a very common profession then uh, we uh, discussed about um, uh, wild uh, life conservation now wildlife biologist who study the behavior of animals their interactions etc and then uh we uh, they work with research labs and so on so these are the options available career opportunities for them forester wildlife uh, biologist wildlife uh, conservation manager zoologist all these are available now oceanography we discussed marine biology we discussed fishery science oceanography what is oceanography study of ocean and environment so basically it includes everything study of weather ocean currents marine organisms sea life everything so career opportunities would be available in public as well as private sector who could work as biological oceanographer physical research and when you discuss about pathway bsc in fishery science bio, uh, biological science life sciences and you could then pursue masters in oceanography or phd or mphil in oceanography is also uh, available such courses are also there okay then epidemiology which is a discipline which studies how diseases occur to different groups of people and you know why do they occur so it's study uh, of diseases okay so who are they are these are the people who gather information about the diseases they plan and develop strategies to prevent such illnesses because once they spread okay when we talk of a pandemic it's 
spreads to so many people. So they are the people, clinical epidemiologists are the people who work uh, in, uh, you know, as consultants in hospitals. They give information to medical staff about the infectious diseases and uh, providing solutions to prevent it. So there are mainly two kinds of categories, research and clinical field. Uh, and opportunities if we talk academics and uh, of course research is always there then there are the uh, community health workers pharmaceutical epidemiologists who work with pharmaceutical companies wet so taking care of wet uh, epidemiologists who work uh, you know with the animals and all disasters so basically there is a widespread of diseases so preventing that you know, infection control so all these are the areas where they could work with now career path uh, MBB, uh, I mean, it, one way is, you know, pursuing MBBS, but right now we are not discussing medicine. So all many other options where you could uh, pursue BSc, pharmacy, nursing, and then pursue uh, masters in public health or masters in statistics and epidemiology. So those are specialized courses. Okay. Now we have discussed everything about all the living beings, uh, plants, animals, marine, uh, humans. Now, what about the earth? So study of the earth, geology. So what is geology? It is an uh, it is an applied science with the study, evolution, and the structure of the earth of the whole planet. So what do they do? They examine the properties of earth to understand the history, predict natural man-made disasters, you know, climate patterns and all that. So they are the people, geologists are the ones who have studied the whole earth. So opportunities, you have marine geology, mineralogists, you know, dealing with minerals, hydrologists for water, now, so seismologist, so who, you know, particularly for earthquake. So these are the options available. BSc in geology, masters in geology, applied geology. So all these courses are available in India. Okay, so we have discussed life science. Now we move, move to the next category, food and agriculture. We uh, had discussed a bit of agriculture but not the whole thing so when you say food science and technology so what is that when you talk food technology so what is food technology it is you know food science is the uh, branch of science where the study of preserving processing packaging and uh, using of safe food practices is all included so it basically includes improving the flavor, uh, making it last longer, uh, making it more nutritious. And so they also, you know, food uh, scientists are the ones or the food technologists are the ones, you know, who would find ways to keep food healthy, nutritious. They would also try uh, to explore cheaper and faster ways to produce food. So. Uh, you were working in the food science and, uh, and technological. So what are the options for you? You could be a food inspector, food technologist, research, uh, you know, or a nutritionist, food scientist and technologist. These, all these options are available. If you want to, you know, what, when then you ask, what are the courses available? So we have BSc in food science, or BSc in food technology, MSc in food science, and then you also have PhD. So all these, all these uh, courses are available in India. Then plant breeding. See here now, these are the specialized areas. Okay, plant breeding and genetics. When you say plant breeding, what uh, breeding? So it is again modification of plants in order to produce certain desired. Uh, characters so we have animal breeding right so you know where two uh, types of breeds are when you have a new breed coming up so mainly plant breeding and genetics so uh, basically 
they are you know trying to develop various techniques from uh, breeding of plants to desirable whatever the desired characteristics are or you know it could be uh, developing more complex techniques so where where they would get options uh, to work universities or crop specific industries research centers or government institutions then uh, we have soil science so uh, i'll just go in brief because these are the specialized areas in, uh, when you are dealing with food science technology and agriculture so soil science basically study soil sciences in uh, you know the study of the soil formation its physical biological chemical properties of soil so it's all about learning about soil maybe to identify interpret manage soils for forestry it could be for agriculture it could be of urban uses ecosystem it could be anything so basically the soil is uh, soil science is the study of soil horticulture we have already discussed in brief horticulture again most conventional field of agriculture where you which deals with vegetables uh, you know uh, decorative ornamental flowers and fruits so who uh, who are these people horticulturists uh, culturists are involved in the cultivation propagation of plants to improve their quality growth etc so courses bsc msc in horticulture are available now uh i don't know these are the new uh, fields uh, you know which are really new these are the specialized areas virology immunology so basically when you say virology or a virologist they study uh, the growth development characteristics of all the viruses and virus like agents so they deal with their classification evolution of viruses they work in the labs so basically uh when if you want to pursue a career in virology bachelor's in life science microbiology physiology is okay then masters and phd in virology courses are available then immunology the same thing basic and then you specialize in that entomology we discussed animals we discussed uh plants so entomology is the study of insects okay now uh any questions still here or else i'll move further to bioscience and research any particular questions with any of these okay so bioscience and research so coming to the first part genetics when you say genetics what is genetics you know have you ever wondered why we look like our parents or you know it's like if you would are interested in studying the concept of genes okay genes when we uh, talk about the heredity uh, factor so genetics is nothing but the study of that genes uh, which is transferred say when you say hereditary okay so something which is transferred from parents to their kids okay so the study of all this hereditary factor dna all this it's all related to genetics so when you talk of genetics as a career it is nothing but study of genes the behavior structure in human body so now what are the career options what are the job opportunities uh it could be a genetic counselor clinical research or a research scientist so all these options are available then when i say pathway career path what uh, genetic engineering is also there but uh, since it's engineering there are colleges you know which require maths in that so here for people who are have done biology bsc in genetics is offered by so many colleges or you could pursue a bsc in biological science or life science and then pursue with msc in genetics or 
go for phd further so these are the uh, options as i discussed career options we discussed a few a genetic counselor so basically who is he is the one who is you know involved uh, who is involved in uh, giving providing support and information to create uh, awareness about variety of genetic diseases medical technologies forensic dna analysis so all these are the options available uh, for someone who is or who has pursued genetics as an as a result of her career okay now biochemistry again when i say biochemistry what what would be the first thing that will come in our minds biology and chemistry so basically this is the branch which has integrated both biology and chemistry which is also referred as biological chemistry which examines the chemical processes of living organisms okay so research that integrates principles of both biology and chemistry so a biochemist understand and solve the biological problems by application of chemical knowledge and techniques so here when you talk about biochemistry or a biochemist so they study uh, the chemistry of living processes such as cell development breathing digestion living energy changes etc so this is about biochemistry now how to how to pursue your career in biochemistry bsc in biochemistry is available again biological science life science bsc if you pursue and then you do ms in biochemistry that is also there but otherwise uh colleges offering bsc in biochemistry are also there in india uh, uh, uh and masters in biochemistry is also there and pg diploma courses in bio, uh, biochemistry are also available now when you talk about the pathway career opportunities they could work as clinical laboratory te uh, technologist or biomedical scientist pharmaceutical uh, industry pharmaceutical companies uh, for the research and all that so these are the options available for someone who has pursued biochemistry what is it bioinformatics we discussed biochemistry so here it is a combination of biology and information technology so biology computer science information technology combination of that now what what is the study what you have to do in it so biology when combined with computational tools uh, to give certain fast results because what does it do it is accurate it is fast it is time saving so when uh, you are doing some research work when you have to you know do it with technology using biology applied principles of biology so combines bioinformatics so with the help of bioinformatics complex biological data can be analyzed very fast accurately okay so he uh, bioinformatician uh, is the one who makes scientific research you know more achievable so these are the uh, when you say what are the career opportunity he could work as a bio uh, informatics analyst program <coughs> research analyst uh, Uh, you know or a bioinformatics analyst and so on now options bsc honors in bioinformatics uh, course is there msc or pg diploma in bioinformatics is also available plus phd is also there okay coming to next biomedical science what is it biomedical science basically study of you know basically cells and organs how they function in our body that is human body so it is uh, an applied science that combines the different aspects of uh, you know uh, various disciplines to develop knowledge in healthcare and who are these people uh, you know they are the experts uh, who work as biomedical scientist or a 
research or immunologist or a forensic scientist uh, etc so bsc msc in biomedical science or uh, courses are also there in india coming to the most common one of the most common microbiology i hope i don't need to you know uh, discuss that in detail everyone knows who, what is microbiology microbiology is nothing but the study of microorganisms that are not uh, you know visible to us like bacteria fungi viruses and all uh, that okay i i just got a message it, the meeting is about to end so if it ends please rejoin okay so here microbiology bsc msc in microbiology can be done so they work in the various fields of healthcare biomedicine genetics uh, etc career opportunities microbiologist microbiological analyst uh, bacteriologist when you want to specialize in something so all these options are there bsc ms in microbiology then phd is also there coming to next biotechnology Every, everyone knows about it because this is you know getting so much popularity so biotechnology what is biotechnology basically it is the applications again of biology along with the recent technology to produce products that can help us that is human beings and environment so it is mainly manipulation of genes to create some solutions you know uh, and uh, you know, uh, address some challenges like food supply diseases environmental issues so here new products are developed uh, every year under this branch like medicines vaccines biochemical biofuel and all that when you talk of biotechnology agriculture biotechnology is very popular because here you think of you know doing research uh, for making plants uh, pest resistant drought resistant stress also all that so everything it is uh, about research working as biological professors a clinical research analyst etc bsc in biotechnology masters everything that is also there you know how to become a biotechnologist coming to next option physiology what what is physiology if you want to know how the human body functions uh, if you would want to work in healthcare industry okay physiology is one of the options basically it is the functioning study of the functioning of the living organisms so human uh, physiology is the biological study of the processes and functions of the human body and these people the professionals who have studied physiology they are called physiologist so again uh, they could work as a physiologist as a consultant clinical expert uh, sports physiologist education etc they could you know as teachers trainers okay next next option anthropology what is it uh, so if uh, you you know anthropology is an analysis of what makes us human so basically it is the study of uh, study of the evolution of human beings how they interact with the world but here when you talk of anthropology uh, there are other ways uh, where you know it can be pursued but obviously bsc uh, in anthropology so 12th pcb is recommended but not compulsory so anthropologists usually they study the human language history environment etc so here uh, when you say how how do they uh you know how to pursue or to move further bsc msc in anthropology or pg diploma in anthropology is also available all these courses are available okay next clinical psychology as uh, we discussed earlier since someone had already asked 
Clinical psychologist is a professional who takes care of our mental health, our mental health disturbance, okay? So if we are dis uh, disturbed, maybe because of some mental problems like anxiety, depression, addiction, stress. So clinical psychologist will take care of that. Again, here for clinical psychology, PCB is not mandatory. It is recommended. It is an op option. You can also do BA with uh, psychology. That is also there. But why clinical counseling psychology, you know, uh, biology health does not help. It is, uh, it will not matter. But when you are a clinical psychologist, you more, uh, mainly focus on serious mental health issues, okay? You're not a doctor, you're not a psychiatrist where you can prescribe medicines, okay? You mainly listen to the patient, you try, find out ways and uh, overcome the problem, whatever it is, the mental problem, it could be anxiety, it could be stress, addiction, depression. So here, if you have done uh, your 12th PCB, knowing the knowledge of human body, human anatomy will help you to, you know, uh, come to a conclusion, come to a solution in a much better way. Okay. Now, uh, any questions so far? Okay. Uh, I can't hear you. Can you uh, be a bit loud? Uh, yeah. Please Manifest tell me. Humanities in eleventh and twelfth. Can one go for BSc psychology? I mean, BSc no. course after. Uh, Usually, humanity. then uh, uh, it would be BA with psychology. BA. In that case, it it would be a BA course. BA course. Okay. All right. So now coming, coming to the next, now that uh, we are discussing, uh, we would be discussing the careers which are related to medicine, okay? You're not studying MBBS or MD or such, but these are the alternative uh, therapy careers, alternative medicine careers. Uh, okay, so one by one we'll be discussing some are very common, so I'm not going uh, into detail, just in brief, like dentistry, okay, dental. Uh, so who is a dentist who takes care of our teeth? So I don't need to explain all that. We have bachelors and we have masters. So that is how dental surgery or dentistry is studied. Uh, you could work as a family dentist or a pediatric dentist. Okay. And dental medicine, dental surgery. Uh, these are the options like uh, also available. And uh, then that is another option where you don't want to pursue medicine. But at the same time, you want to be uh, in the medicine field or you want to do something related to medicine. Okay. Next. Homeopathy. Everyone knows what is homeopathy. Homeopathy is the branch of medicine that believes in natural treatment methods. Okay. So homeopathy medicines are completely uh, natural. They are made up from plants, vegetables, minerals. Okay. So a homeopathy doctor would be adopting a holistic treatment in curing the uh, whatever uh, diseases uh, or that whoever comes uh, and they use homeopathic uh, remedies for the healing uh, purpose so again here also bachelors in homeopathy masters diploma is also available the courses are available next is ayurveda you have homeopathy doctor you also have ayurveda medicine ayurvedic doctor who, who is that so here ayurved medicines they aim at strengthening the capacity of the body to fight disease you know uh, we take uh, at times we take uh, 
medicines to boost our immunity uh, you know so here basically ayurvedic medicine they would want to uh, strengthen the capacity so these medicines are made from herbs minerals metals okay and ayurvedic treatments also include massage special diets cleansing techniques so if you have heard you know uh, you must have heard of massage ayurvedic massage so they they use certain oils uh, and all that for the massage of the body which has got certain properties healing properties so here ayurved uh, an option where you could pursue bachelors as well as masters okay now all the other paramedical allied medicine careers now when you talk of uh, medicine you know when you talk of medicine professionals or doctor or any health management system anyone cannot function without these professionals or without these uh, players without their help like a paramedical uh, is a professional who assist the doctor okay uh, for better treatment for therapy for better diagnosis so such specially uh, specialized fields would include physiotherapy radiology audiology optometry uh, speech therapist occupational therapist etc so first the most common one everyone knows nurse nursing a career in nursing so obviously anyway nurse plays a very very important essential role okay they mainly focus on the patients for faster recovery disease prevention be it anything up post care pre operative care so basically bsc in nursing masters in nursing all courses are available here uh then uh, when you talk of other uh, options if you have heard of optometry what is it ophthalmologist you know it is an eye doctor but when you talk of uh, optometrist they are the technicians who examine your eyes okay they are the professions with technical knowledge who have uh, uh, knowledge about the visual disorder here they are not doctors basically their prime responsibility is to diagnose eye related defects it could be near sightedness uh, far sightedness or any other visual um, uh, impairments could be anything so here bachelors in optometry masters in optometry are all available which uh, you can pursue or if you thinking of optometry as an alternative career Uh, opportunities working in a hospital research training eye clinic manager as a consultant okay next occupational therapy or a physiotherapy you know basically it is curing physically disabled people or helping people to recover from injuries you we all know you know there are physiotherapy clinics so even after you have surgeries certain doctors recommend a physiotherapy there are if you are disabled there uh, you have to go undergo therapy that is physical therapy to get better it could be focused focused on your any body part it could be back it could be hand it could be like anything so basically physiotherapy or physical therapy when we say it's the medical science that uses physical approach to restore and maintain the natural body movements okay so here uh, you could work uh in hospitals you could work and in clinics physiotherapy centers all these options are available or you could also have uh, you could treat clients with you know permanent disability to help them adjust to their lifestyle there there are therapists who help uh, you know help such people so bachelors in uh, physiotherapy uh, and Uh, another option is masters in occupational therapy where you focus then you also have a uh, masters in acupressure that is also available all these courses are available okay when we discuss about the career opportunities we uh, like uh, even chari- uh, charity and voluntary o- organizations have their physiotherapy centers it could be you know uh, you are focusing on something pediatric uh, physiotherapist or a post operative physiotherapist or a sports physiotherapist so here your area is 
focused. You could work in private offices, you could work in social service departments, etc. Okay, then comes medical laboratory technologist. Now, when you say even for this medical lab technicians, you have courses because you know they are not just anyone who can perform uh, the test, they can uh, test the blood, the tissue, or body fluids. You know, you have to be specialized in that. So Medical lab technician is the one who plans, conducts, summarizes each medical test, which is carried out in the pathology or medical lab. So here uh, you could pursue bachelor's uh, in medical uh, lab technician that is called BMLT and proceed with masters. Uh, and where do you work? You could work in pathology labs, hospitals, or the options are there, but obviously this is a related uh, medicine career so working in hospitals pathology uh, labs and all that are the options available for you then medical transcription when you talk of medical transcription what is it you know it's taking notes organizing data so these are the people who are healthcare documentation specialists they uh, uh, you know, take running notes or voice notes given by doctors and all that. So there are courses for that. BSc Medical Transcription, BSc in Clinical Data Management. Okay. Then when we discuss further, audiologist. We discuss optometrist, now audiologist. Who is an audiologist? You know, he's not a doctor, but he, he takes care of the uh, ear issues, you know, checks whether you can hear properly or not. So he's the one who actually he can conduct the hearing test and uh, further recommend uh, you to an ENT or some other doctor. Then we have radiology technician, you know, where in the radiology department, there are people who conduct the test. They are not the doctors, okay, they conduct the test. They are technicians. Uh, sonography and all that. So operation theater technologists to assist the surgeons while performing surgery. So they are specialized for that operation theater technologist. Okay. Now, after discussing all these allied medicine uh, careers, another option, public healthcare administration. So here you are working in the field, which, you know, which is actually uh, focusing on the improvement and well-being of other people and communities for, you know, maybe for promoting national health schemes. So what are the opportunities? You could work with government, NGOs, public health systems. Study, we have courses in India uh, such as Bachelor of Public Health Administration. Master courses are also available, but here the focus is on the administration which work uh, towards the welfare of the society, public health and well-being. Okay. Then, the next, nutrition. Okay. When you say food and nutrition. So here, uh, like a dietitian, nutritionist, PCB is not mandatory. I would still say, but why recommended if you have done, just like clinical psychology, if you have done biology, PCB, you understand the human body, you understand the human anatomy. So your dietitians uh, can work uh, independently or at the hospitals, they, they educate the patients, nurses regarding the dietary needs, a healthy lifestyle, nutritionist, you know, even now uh, so many uh, IB Cambridge board schools, you know, where they provide meals, they have a qualified nutritionist or a dietitian. So who plans the whole meal for the kids? Even in the hospitals, proper meals are planned for the patients because the patient's need would be very like someone who's diabetic would want or uh, you know bear a uh, non-sugar meal should be prescribed someone who has got gastric problems so where you know, something light he is not supposed to have say wheat and all that so different meal plan has to be uh, planned so here basically they can work both in community at the hospital and here as i said 
they work with patients suffering from diseases it could be kidney problems food allergies cancer diabetes it could be anything so uh, pcp is not mandatory but it is recommended and you uh, again bsc in nutrition msc in nutrition are the courses which are available then there are many other courses where pcb is not compulsory okay science stream pcm pcb or any stream like when you say archaeology study of history if you love history and all that 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 is also available sports science sports science sports management agricultural management hospital management see when hospital management you can do bba mba but if you have done science you understand the hospital you understand the system so if uh you know you understand uh human anatomy and all that these are the options available but these are not the options specifically for uh students who are pursuing biology all uh, are available but because it requires any stream but if you are from science background the understanding is much better okay next comes forensic science this is this is one career which is gaining a lot of popularity where where is this used what is forensic science forensic science is the field where you apply the scientific methods and knowledge for what for criminal investigation so here basically you know forensic scientist uh, Uh, if you must have seen serials and all that you know if you heard so when uh, the uh, forensic scientist examines the body or the crime scene and all that so uh, here basically the whole idea is criminal investigation the scientific approach which is used in criminal investigation so where examination of the physical evidence administration of the test interpretation of data it could be all this would be included in forensic science now career opportunities you could work as a crime scene investigator or an analyst forensic uh, specialist or a fingerprint expert or a uh, say forensic science examiner you, you know mainly you will be working in labs where you would be carrying out your analysis your investigation okay and study everything in detail courses available you have bsc in forensic sciences msc in forensic sciences and uh, so on so then phd is also available is also offered in india in certain uh, colleges okay so i think uh, yeah i have discussed mostly many many of course a few here and there would be but basically all the careers that we have discussed are the options available if you want to do pcb that is physics chemistry biology and not go for medicine as the core medicine that is doing mbbs md or ms and so these are all the options available here in india uh in india like if we have opted for cbsc and or you know icse it stream selection physics chemistry uh, science is okay fine but physics chemistry biology physics chemistry maths has to be done versus if uh, someone is from ib or cambridge you know the options available are many like you know someone can also do business studies and still do physics chemistry or still do only physics or chemistry here if in india uh, obtain studying in cbsc school physics chemistry compulsory then either maths or either biology english and then you choose your optional subject if you not uh, decided there are students who choose both like who opt for uh, maths as well as biology to keep all the options open but here when you are choosing both so the maths as well as biology what happens is the efforts you have to put in will rise you know tenfold because it's 
a lot of work your your one main subject biology and maths you know either or your one main here you have to do two main so in case if you are really focused you have the main thing always choose one unless you are sure that you know you are going to cope up with both like maths as well as biology just to keep the options open okay thank you very much i think that ends our session so i would be uh, happy to answer any queries uh, you have before that i would st uh, still like to uh, you know mention a few things uh as i see either you could be students you could be parents you could be counselors uh here how do we decide the career if the child is confused the most suitable option is career assessment that is psychometric assessment test you know if you're not sure of the stream career guide offers you stream selector test or otherwise if you sure you know the main test which is called the ideal career test which lists three suitable uh, careers the top three most appropriate careers taking care of certain parameters like your interest your aptitude and uh, your uh, career motivators so based on your answers uh, while you taking the psychometric test the report is displayed which takes care of everything like just imagine uh i have aptitude for x y z uh, subject but i am not interested in that okay so how do you expect me to you know pursue the career because which is going to stay with me for the rest of my life and not it be interested in it i won't be able to continue you know i won't be able to function after maybe some time though i have aptitude i have skills and abilities but my interest level is zero so that is why based on the psychometric test uh, the ideal career test stream selectors test you know the best stream is suggested or the top three careers are suggested so before you before you take any decision even if you sure you know this if you take the test it will always help you to remove the confusion and if you sure to you know just verify that that you know okay it's as per what i have thought and career uh, on careerguide.com all uh, these tests are available you also have a sample report available so you can always visit and check okay thank you very much i hope the session uh, though it was there was a lot of information but i hope it was helpful and at least you could you know uh, maybe come to know the options which you didn't know that existed okay uh, any questions PPT. Yes, PPT. I will. Uh, uh, you will receive it uh, in a uh, maybe day or. Excuse me, ma'am. Yes. Ma'am, what is the difference between a dietitian and a nutritionist? Nutrition and uh, it's mainly the same, but here when you talk of you know nutritionist. so basically it takes care of the nutrition dietitian you know when you want to uh, there is a focus when you want to lose weight or something so that is why you go to a uh, uh, dietitian but more or less it is the same but yeah definitely there is a thin line of difference who takes care of the nutritional needs you know proper vitamins carbohydrates minerals and then prana dietitian when you have a focus of you know that is why we uh, uh mention uh, we went to a dietitian who the purpose is to lose weight so the meals are suggested according yes uh, someone has mentioned uh, just let me check uh, bsc agriculture and pharma which is better okay uh, see here both are very different uh, you cannot compare it's actually what you want to pursue bsc in are you into agriculture because when you are doing bsc in agriculture it is the scientific study of agriculture or in, into medicine pharma is totally related to medicines you 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 cannot compare you know just by asking that which is better both are good which are you interested in 
because pharma it's study of the medicines drugs and all that agriculture when you say it's the scientific approach the scientific study of agriculture how to prevent uh, and uh, grow more crops how to uh, you know grow your yield and all that so in that case if i don't have any agricultural background i don't have a set i need to work somewhere no or for me interest is both which one i would say i don't want to work with plants i don't want to you know do all that so obviously medicine but yes i know that i want to do something related to plants or something like that you know uh, grow more crops better crops then i would go for that clinical psychologist uh, and uh, counseling psychology when you say clinical psychologist i told you they are uh, they are the people who address to more severe mental disorders like anxiety uh, depression and when you say counseling uh, psychologist you know they counsel they try to listen to you and they solve the problems which a clinical psychologist also does but counseling psychology you know the uh, options are many like marriage counselor school counselor and all that way they uh, resolve the general problems the day to day the relationship the behavior problems clinical psychology where more severe mental disorders are addressed also i wanted to ask yes please go ahead so like uh, when you talk about that genetics and all in in uh, india like uh, what is the scope for that in the sense um, are they paid well and uh, yes see initially uh, the uh, when you talk of genetics the scope if you compare with the western countries the scope will be much more over there here as a beginner uh, they would be i wouldn't say they would be paid very well the scope is actually it's get getting more popular so after maybe a few years down the line uh, there would be a huge scope for genetics and all that but then see it also uh, like if you are living in you know smaller uh, cities and all that then you cannot expect you know a great pay where you don't have such companies yeah, okay yeah, who, yeah. so yeah. you know because uh, there it you know there are people who would want to do genetics and then they don't want to move out of their small town or small city then then they come and uh, say that you know uska koi scope nahi you know that is the most common thing but then you know uh, i mean such companies you know if you don't have the employers okay there is no demand who is going to hire you correct yeah yeah also, so if, uh, in general understanding when a child who is 14 15 likes bio you know maybe even because he is curious uh, you know how you're just curious about uh, how things function in your body etc does it necessarily mean that that they genuinely love bio out of your experience if you have any idea or it would be more of it is helping his curiosity uh, that's about it so uh, both ways it could happen you just because they are uh, you know getting so a child who's 14 15 you know he is also there are so many changes uh, during that age in the body uh, itself right so right. even because of that that could be out of curiosity also but uh, there are so in that case if you really want to know you know the the best way uh, would be taking a psychometric uh, assessment test to right. you know just understand that you know whether the child is actually interested or not exactly. because what hap- uh, happens is you know at the age of 14 15 you know there are so many changes in the body itself because that is the age where you know uh, right. because of puberty and all that so there are so many right. changes so even because of that actually there is a lot of curiosity and anxiety in a child because that is the age where right. the child is going through a lot of physical right. emotional changes hormonal changes everything together correct yeah okay
uh, difference between clinicals uh, and the better one. See, better one. Uh, both are good. Counseling psychology, uh, you know, has a lot of options. Like you know, even career counseling. Okay, or uh, you could say marriage counseling, you relationship counseling, parent uh, child counseling. So there are many options. It is not that. As I said, both are good. But when you are talking of clinical psychology, it focuses on the serious mental disorders. So even a clinical psychologist can also work as a you know counselor also. But simple, if you've not done a course in clinical psychology. uh you cannot uh, uh you cannot call yourself a clinical psych uh, psychologist you are still a counselor or a psychologist uh okay sure uh, link to psychometric uh, test pratibha could you do that uh on the website's link see the psychometric test psychometric i would just uh type the website's name and you could uh visit the website and see which is which is the test you would want to go for a uh, stream selector test ideal career test if it's a you know professional uh, skill test if they are you looking for skills in professional so there are many many tests available you could just check you could visit the website careerguide.com and check which is the even the 21st century skills uh, test uh, uh, tests are also available where you know the skills the necessary skills like cognitive uh, information technology skills all our skills all the skills are assessed intrapersonal communications interpersonal all the skills are assessed so you could just visit that a uh, psychiatrist psychiatrist basically is a doctor he or she who is a psychiatrist he also deals with such severe mental disorders but he can prescribe medicine so you know when the stage reaches to a level where you, uh, clinical psychology that is the psychologists are of no use okay in the sense that the treatment needs to be more severe and uh, medicinal uh, drugs have to be taken in that case psychiatrist uh you have to or someone has to consult a psychiatrist who is a doctor who can prescribe medicines psychologist cannot prescribe medicines okay so i have uh, mentioned the website name careerguide.com so you can visit the website and check if which psychometric test would you want to go for in the longer run both psychiatrist also and a clinical psychologist also but again as i said for being a psychiatrist you have to study medicine they are the doctors and clinical psychology does not uh, require any study of medicine so it is both are necessary both are required both are in demand but then you have to decide you know if you're ready to study medicine yes if you're not ready so because medicine is again an altogether a proper course
Any more questions? Okay, in that case, uh, we can end the session. Thank you very much for uh, attending. I hope whatever I shared with you was useful to you. And thanks a lot for attending. Thank you so much. All right, bye, have a good day.